You guys play the best superhero games. Yay! Oh! oh. <laughs> Miss your cute little bubble power, Chloe. Uh, ever since teleporting became her new power, it's all she does. It's killing my parents. Uh, found her! <laughs> Chloe! You have to stop teleporting all over the house. <laughs> I know it's fun for you, sweetie, but your dad and I have trouble keeping up with you. Well, I can, but he can't. Daddy's slow. You, you know what might keep her from teleporting? <gasps> Airplane ride! All right. Once more around the world, but that is it. Thunderman! Feeling his age! Yeah! Where's Chloe? I put her down to get us some churros in Mexico and she teleported. What do we do? <laughs> Daddy's slow. Hey, we're back. Since Chloe's been having so many superhero girl spurts, we got her some new clothes at the mall. Check out what I got her. I put the oops in poops. Oh, we are so putting her in that right now. Uh, guys, I'm not sure that's gonna fit anymore. <gasps> she grew again. I want pizza. And she learned how to talk. How long were we at the mall? Now that she's bigger, I bet that her bubble power's stronger. Let's get this bubble party started. <laughs> hey, no bubbles. Billy Broker. Chloe's not broken. I think she just outgrew her baby power. Ooh, I wonder what her permanent power will be. Well, let's go call the doc in Metroburg and see if he can come give Chloe a power scan and take a look at this rash. What if I hold your hand? Okay. See, not so bad. You are my hero. Looks like Chloe's superpower will be one of three things. Super strength, teleportation, or... Vomit comets? Mm. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Make that Sonic screaming. You'll know within the week. I wonder which power she'll get. Well, sweetie, it's anyone's guess. Okay, Chloe, got it? Got it. Whoa! Well, it's not super strength yet. Guys, I'm still down here. Oh. Chloe. That was my guess. What's he looking at? I have no idea. You can do it, Billy. Thanks, Chloe. Hearing you say that changes nothing! You're everywhere! Be brave, Billy. I'll hold your hand. Okay, little sis. I'll do it for you. See, not so bad. Everything's back to normal. I just laid an egg, didn't I? Okay, I'll call Dr. Ouch. Great dinner. Oh, it sure was. Especially the grilled pig. Oh. What was that? Your father has super hiccups. They're like regular hiccups, but they destroy buildings and beach houses we dreamed of growing old in. First of all, that house was built on a sandy cliff. Second of all, I don't have the super hiccups. I had one, and now it's gone. I like my beach house. Ooh, cutie cat's eye. Oh. Can we all watch it together?
Idol? Of course we can, sweetie. Definitely the last. Hey, oh. Kids, be good. We're going outside. <laughs> Billy, this is our chance to show Chloe Hootie the owl. Chloe, we have something for you. <gasps> cool, an owl. Not just any owl. Check this out. Hootie don't care. Who? Who? Hootie don't care. What you think about that? Excuse me, Hootie. Could you please help me carry my groceries? Hootie don't care. <laughs> that was funny. I don't remember Hootie harassing grandmas. Hootie. You can't just eat that candy without paying. That's still. Who don't care? Who? Who? Who don't care? Who? Who? Who don't care? What do you think about that? Me. Maybe we shouldn't have shown that to Chloe. She's a good kid. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care. This is your fault. Young lady. No more Chloe don't care. And no more Hootie. That was a mistake. And stay out. <laughs> Chloe, you can't lock us out. Chloe don't care. Chloe don't care? You showed her Hootie the. <laughs> It's pronounced owl. We specifically told you not to show her. Hey, my super hiccups are gone. Just like we planned. It's going to be cold today, guys, so don't forget your jackets. I lost mine. Uh oh. Billy, that jacket was brand new. Nora, I need your lunchbox. I lost it. Here comes the hammer. OK, you guys can't keep losing things. Jackets and lunchboxes don't just grow on trees. True, true. So when you go to the store, can you buy me a lunchbox with a kitty on it? No, I am not buying you a new lunchbox. <laughs> or you a new jacket. Ha <laughs> ha. OK, you guys are just going to have to survive without them, and then maybe you'll learn not to lose stuff. Don't even think about it. So, what do you do? Um, I use my freeze breath on the tanker truck so it doesn't explode, and everyone lives happily ever after. Almost. You forgot to shut down the road. Look, here comes an out of control cement truck. I'm out of control, baby. And you just caused a 12 car pileup. You just got school. There it is. The super cycle's on its way home. Thanks for the new batteries. Don't thank me. Thank Chloe. You are a monster. I wish I could have seen Phoebe's face when this thing took off with nobody on it. <laughs> Why would this thing stop? Supercycle, 
I command you to turn left. Oh, all right. That's right. Come to Papa. Ooh, that looks fun. Let me try. Hey, pause up my remote. Come on, share. Uh, my face is turning inside out. Let go. No, you let go. <laughs> oh, no. The super cycle. I think it's heading for that cliff. I'm heading for that cliff. My super cycle. From. I've been keeping an eye on you. Not because I don't trust you, because I didn't trust Tech Writer. You were right. He is reckless. I was just so caught up in his super cycle and his super gadgets and his super smooth skin. I hate to admit it, but his skin does glow. Dad, I never should have replaced you. I'm sorry. I understand. My methods can be old fashioned. Are you kidding me? I used everything you taught me at the prison, and that's what saved the day. I can't wait for our next lesson. Are you saying you want me to be your mentor again? I'm saying today made me realize a mentor is a person you look up to and learn from. And that person's always been you. So can I call President Kickbutt and make it official again? Nothing would make me prouder. Perfect, Chloe. Now, I think the super cycle disappeared from my radar somewhere around. Speaking of being proud. Oh, huh. hey guys. Uh, Chloe and I were just leaving. Quick, home, Chloe. This is for stealing my batteries. <laughs> Any chance you two saw a runaway motorcycle around here? Thunderman, away! <laughs> I guess I'm walking. On your lap! I didn't put the scissors away, did you? Never do. Found the scissors! What did you do? I got a haircut. <laughs> oh no, if mom and dad see that, we're gonna be toast. I know how to fix this. Bolt cut! Bam! You don't deserve to wear that hat. Well, tape didn't work. Glue didn't work. How are we gonna put this back on her head? How about this staple gun? Give me that! <sighs> Mom and Dad are gonna be so mad that we changed our cute baby sister into a teleporting nubby-haired freak! This is what we get for leaving the scissors out. By the way, I don't think we ever put them away. What? We better find them before Chloe gets them. I got another haircut. <laughs> ah! Everything okay, kid? They're coming! Double snuggle. We heard yelling. What happened? Nothing. Just snuggling with my sisters. We're tight, yo. Two haircuts. <laughs> Tighter than two haircuts, son. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we know. We're cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cooler than two haircuts, son! That was close. And embarrassing for all involved. <laughs> There's got to be another way to cover her hat. How? We're the only people we know who make hats, and I just stapled myself to the cabinet. <laughs> we did it, Billy. We made Chloe a hat that'll hide her hair, and won't make Mom and Dad suspicious. I look good, baby. Yeah, you do. And I made one for Colosso. You know he was going to ask for it. What is on Chloe's head? It's the new hat we made her out of love that she wants to wear forever. Please let her wear it forever. Mark, remember how we wanted to make the many months of Chloe calendar? Oh, my gosh, she's a perfect 
Can you guys make a hat for each month? No way. That's like 70 hats. <laughs> Let's just make the hats ourselves, Bart. You grab the paper, I'll grab Chloe and the scissors. Yay, scissors! <laughs> All right, we're almost done with the hats. We're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead! Look, we're gonna be in trouble no matter what. Maybe we'll get in less trouble if we just admit what we did. The truth? We're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead! Okay, where are the scissors? Um, you were using them for July. Oh, good, Chloe has them. <laughs> Chloe has them! Oh! Confession. Whatever it is, it can wait. Chloe cut her hair because we left the scissors out. You did? I mean, you did? <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. This could happen to anyone. Like, literally anyone in this room could have made the same exact mistake. Okay. <laughs> hey, you grab Chloe. We're going to the hair salon. Yay, more scissors! <laughs> We're so not dead. And I can do this. Oh. oh, looks like we have a little gymnast on our hands. Oh, either that or she's doing the pee pee dance. I want to do gymnastics. Oh, how could we say no to that face? Of course you can do gymnastics. Yay! Oh. <laughs> a little gymnastics class, huh? You sure you guys are ready for that? We'll be fine, Phoebe. I'm just saying, I remember quite a few Saturdays that turned into the Hank and Barb show. Hank, talk to your daughter. Don't worry, I will keep an eye on your mom. And who's gonna keep an eye on you? And who's gonna keep an eye on you? Chloe hasn't done anything all class. I mean, maybe we should join in, make her feel more comfortable. Yeah. For a minute or two, but for Chloe. Of course, just for Chloe. Chloe, how come you aren't jumping around like you do at home? I don't wanna. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Watch. for everyone to get the kids into it? I'm sorry, Coach Gibbons, but we're not really dressed for that. <laughs> no, no, we, we are! are! want more tumble men. Yeah! Okay, get off the mat, sweetie. I think these nice people are trying to take our picture. Huh? Okay. All right, Hank. This is it. Let's do the tumbleman's twisty flip and throw. Oh, the trick's too hard. We've never even gotten it right. Today is our day. We both knew this was happening when we squeezed in these tights and hit them under our clothes. Okay, let's do it. Thing, Chloe. Years ago, your father and I went undercover and joined the circus to catch a villain. But we caught more than a villain on that mission. We caught tumble fever. Mm -hmm. We also caught a real fever. That's because clowns don't wash their hands. <laughs> Since then, having you kids in these classes is our only chance to get our tumble on. We got carried away and forgot the real reason we came here for you. Yeah, we're sorry. So what do you say, hmm? Do you like doing some gymnastics? Can I do it with the tumblemans? Oh, sure. I just wish we had one of those cool costumes for you. <laughs> the tumblemans always prepared. You'd have remembered that if you hadn't gotten clown fever. All right, guys, this is it. Let's give them the tumbleman twisty flip and throw. Yeah. Let's 
undo it. What are you talking about? She looks adorable. Come on, sweetie. Let's go put on some sunscreen. Hmm? We cannot let her go to the park like that. Everyone will laugh at her. I know. She wore that to the zoo last week, and she got more looks than that chimp chewing on that poor kid's ear. How is your ear? Better. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, about the park. I bet it's really crowded. Don't you think, Billy? I'll check. <laughs> it is packed. Ten kid pile up on the slide. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to go another time. Come on, Chloe. We just saved Chloe from total embarrassment. Up top. <laughs> Ow! That's not how it works! 